There has never been a time in history where one can create such complex projects for so little money. I'm talking movies, I'm talking animation, I'm talking film. Anything you put your mind to, with the age of the internet, now is the time to get into any creative endeavor. With virtual reality, however, this is twofold. Not only is the bar to entry with video game development as low as it's ever been, but VR as a medium is a new seed being watered year by year, ready to blossom into a beautiful tree. And one of those blossoming saplings is animation and virtual reality. It wasn't too long ago that something like this, or even this, would have costed tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars to make. Now, however, with the reduction in price of both high-end computers, as well as industry-grade programs being available for all to use, and animations such as this one, or this one, created specifically by Disrupt, aka us, is something that has no gatekeeper anymore. You don't need to go to college to learn how to animate. You just spend many hours on YouTube. So within the VR space, there are two types of animation animation for VR games and animation for VR films. Both are accomplished by virtually the same production pipeline. With the accessibility of the internet, not only can you find pre-made 3D models for your creations, characters, textures, anything really, some companies are even providing creators with ready-made character rigs and environments for one to animate at their leisure. Companies like Tavor allow users to create their characters as you would an RPG game and design the scene to your liking. If you've ever been frustrated that you can't just move the character the way you want them to move without having to click the keyframes back and forth, Tavor has made that dream come true. Utilizing a pseudo keyframe animation process, their program allows you to move your character to your liking, right? And then record that movement to capture your scene. Essentially, you're animating in real time. Mindshow goes even a step further. Rather than you moving your character and recording it later, Mindshow acts as a microcosm for how traditional films are made. So players jump in the game and select the character they need for the scene. They then act out in real life as an actor would. Then after the fact, you can jump back in the scene with a camera and move it just like in real life. This is sort of similar to an early form of film on YouTube called Machinima. So machinimas are essentially films created within a game's environment. I actually started out with machinimas in the popular game, Minecraft. Using the game's resources, we built sets, designed skins for players to use on their characters. We then have recording sessions where we directed the actors to move around here and there as you would in real life, creating sort of a set environment. So with little to no animation experience, anyone can take pre-made models, pre-made assets, and transform them into narratives. Ingenuity like this is something that's found throughout filmmaking. As an example, Spielberg, you know it, the man. Early on in his career with Jaws, after some complications, he made the decision to only show the body of the shark sparingly and use music to represent the shark in Jaws. The result, one of the most suspenseful films of all time. The same follows suit in virtual reality films, trying to think outside of the box like a real life film director would. So when we were creating our latest VR film, La Camila, we utilized HTC's Vive tracking pucks as super low budget motion capture. Something that would have costed thousands of dollars just a few years ago, we can now do for a few hundred bucks. All in all, this saved us like 75% of the time it would have taken to animate by hand. In 2018, anybody can make something that can be consumed by hundreds of thousands of people with distribution all over the world. So what is the differentiating factor? The price for software and hardware are the lowest they've ever been. The price for success now, now it comes down to creativity, skill and time rather than cash and budget. Another quick example is Moment, a new VR app that allows users to prototype designs. Say, if 100 people were using this app, how many different designs would we get? How many of them useful, innovative, effective? These new tools are shaping different ways that our brain can work. They're, they're opening up different receptors and making us think around the box, creating innovative ideas that 
we've never even thought of. VR is here. And kind of like the iPhone back in 2008, we didn't know what it was capable of. But with the tools that are coming out every single day, reality is about to take off. Don't miss the boat. Thanks for watching. Click our Discord link down below to join the community.